Mae McAvoy was a trailblazing actress who made a significant impact in the early years of Hollywood. Born in 1999, she began her career on the stage before transitioning to silent films in the 1920s. May quickly became a popular leading lady, known for her beauty, talent, and versatility. She starred in some of the most memorable films of the era, including The Merry Widow and The Jazz Singer, which was the first feature-length film with synchronized dialogue. May's performance in The Jazz Singer helped to usher in a new era of filmmaking and solidified her place in movie history. May's success was not limited to the screen. She was also a successful businesswoman, investing in real estate and starting her own production company. May was a pioneer for women in the industry, proving that they could be successful both in front of and behind the camera. Despite the challenges she faced as a woman in a male-dominated industry, May persevered and became one of the most respected and admired actresses of her time. Her contributions to the world of film continued to be celebrated and studied to this day. May McAvoy's story is one of determination, talent, and success against the odds. May McAvoy was a talented actress who starred in many silent films during the 1920s. Despite her success, she is not as well known as some of her contemporaries today. Do you have any interesting facts or stories about May McAvoy to share? May McAvoy appeared in over 50 films during her career, but perhaps her most famous role was in the 1923 film The Ten Commandments. Do you have a favorite performance or film of May McAvoy's? We would love to hear any memories or personal experiences you have related to May McAvoy. Share your stories in the comments below. In this video, we will be sharing some fun, surprising, and even sad facts about May McAvoy's life and career. So stay tuned. May McAvoy, born in 1899 in New York, was the daughter of a successful businessman. Despite her family's affluence, McAvoy was drawn to the world of theater from a young age. She often attended plays with her mother and became enamored with the art of acting. McAvoy's parents initially opposed her desire to pursue a career in acting, but she was determined to follow her passion. After graduating from high school, she began studying drama and quickly caught the attention of several influential figures in the theater world. One of McAvoy's earliest mentors was the renowned actress and director, Margaret Anglin. Anglin recognized McAvoy's talent and offered her a role in one of her productions. McAvoy's performance was a critical success and she soon found herself in demand by other directors and producers. In addition to Anglin, McAvoy was also influenced by the work of Sarah Bernhardt, one of the most famous actresses of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Bernhardt's powerful and emotive performances inspired McAvoy to develop her own unique acting style. As McAvoy's career progressed, she continued to seek out opportunities to learn from other talented actors and directors. She worked with the likes of D.W. Griffith, the pioneering filmmaker, and Sam Goldwyn, the legendary Hollywood producer. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles throughout her career, May McAvoy remained committed to her craft. Her early exposure to theater and the mentorship of influential figures in the industry helped her to become one of the most respected and admired actresses of her time. May McAvoy was an American actress born on September 8, 1899, in Columbus, Ohio. Her parents were Daniel J. McAvoy and Mary McAvoy. May was the eldest of five children. The family later moved to New York City, where May's father worked as a police officer. May's interest in acting began at a young age. She attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City, where she trained in theater. In 1917, May made her Broadway debut in the play The Rainbow. She continued to appear in various Broadway productions over the next few years. May's film career began in 1920 when she signed a contract with Metro Pictures Corporation. She made her film debut in the movie The Gilded Lily. Over the next decade, May appeared in over 30 films, including The Jazz Singer, which was the first feature-length film with synchronized dialogue. May's career was significantly impacted by the introduction of sound in films. Although she had a successful career in silent films, she struggled to adapt to the new technology. Despite this, she continued to act in films throughout the 1930s. May married three times. Her first marriage was to actor and director Johns Robertson in 1921, but they divorced in 1926. She then married Morris Cleary, a stockbroker, in 1929, but they also divorced. 
Her third and final marriage was to Milton H. Bren in 1936, and they remained together until May's death in 1984. May's contributions to the film industry were significant. She was a talented actress who appeared in some of the most influential films of the silent era. Although she struggled to adapt to the new technology of sound, she continued to act in films throughout the 1930s. May's legacy as a pioneering actress in the early days of Hollywood remains an important part of film history. May McAvoy, a talented actress, discovered her passion for performing at a young age. Growing up in New York City, she was captivated by the theater scene and often attended plays with her family. One pivotal experience that fueled her desire to pursue acting was seeing a performance of A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsenator the Powerful. An emotional performance of the lead actress left a lasting impression on May and inspired her to become an actress herself. She began her career on the stage, performing in various plays in New York City. Her natural talent and dedication quickly caught the attention of casting directors, and she soon transitioned to film. May's first major film role was in the 1920 silent film The Restless Sex, where she starred alongside Marion Davies. This role solidified her place in Hollywood, and she went on to appear in over 40 films throughout her career. May's passion for acting never wavered, and she continued to push herself and take on new challenges. She was known for her versatility and ability to take on a wide range of roles, from comedic to dramatic. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to connect with audiences made her one of the most beloved actresses of her time. Throughout her career, May remained dedicated to her craft and continued to inspire and captivate audiences with her powerful and emotional performances. Her passion for acting was evident in every role she played, and she will always be remembered as a true pioneer in the world of film and theater. May McAvoy is best known for her role as Esther in the 1925 film Ben, Her A Tale of the Christ. The premiere of the film in New York City was attended by McAvoy, director Fred Niblo, his wife, and actress Enid Bennett, and actor Francis X. Bushman. Originally, Gertrude Olmsted was cast as Esther, but she was replaced by McAvoy. McAvoy's portrayal of Esther was highly regarded, and she was later profiled in the book Speaking of Silence, First Ladies of the Screen by William Drew in 1997. Her performance in Ben-Hur was a significant one, showcasing her talent and contributing to the success of the film. Despite the challenges of working during the silent film era, McAvoy's acting skills shone through and left a lasting impression on audiences. Mae McAvoy, a talented actress, faced many challenges in her early career. Despite growing up in a poor family, she was determined to become an actress. However, she struggled to find work in the industry due to skepticism from casting directors who didn't believe she had what it took. McAvoy didn't let these obstacles stop her. She continued to pursue her dream and found creative solutions to overcome the hurdles she faced. She started by taking on small roles in local theater productions, honing her craft and gaining valuable experience. As she gained more experience, McAvoy began to attract the attention of casting directors and was offered larger roles in films. However, she still faced financial struggles and had to work multiple jobs to support herself while pursuing her acting career. Despite these challenges, McAvoy remained resilient and never gave up on her dream. She continued to work hard and eventually became a successful actress known for her roles in films such as The Jazz Singer and The Ten Commandments. McAvoy's story is a testament to the power of determination and resilience. She faced many obstacles early on in her career, but through hard work and creative solutions, she was able to overcome them and achieve her dreams. After the success of The Jazz Singer in 1927, Mae McAvoy was disappointed with the quality of scripts she received from Warner Brothers. Consequently, she chose to retire from acting in 1929 after getting married. Despite Warner's claim that her lisp made her voice unsuitable for talkies, the real reason for her retirement was their poor script offerings. This false narrative was later repeated by film historians, leading May to consider legal action against the studio. In addition to her acting career, May McAvoy served as the treasurer for the Catholic Motion Picture Guild of America in 1931. Despite being sometimes referred to as one of the least talented American silent leading ladies, this assessment has been challenged as more of her films have become accessible for viewing. Mae McAvoy was an actress who made her mark in the silent film era. 
One of her breakthrough moments came with the 1921 film The Love Light, where she played a lighthouse keeper's daughter. Critics praised her performance, and it established her as a serious actress. Later, in 1923, McAvoy starred in The Ten Commandments, a groundbreaking epic directed by Cecil B. DeMille. Her performance as Moses' love interest, Miriam, was highly acclaimed and helped solidify her status as a leading lady. DeMille himself was impressed by McAvoy's talent and professionalism. He once said, Mae McAvoy was one of the finest actresses I ever worked with. She had a rare combination of beauty, intelligence, and emotional depth. Another significant milestone in Mae McAvoy's career was her role in the first ever feature-length talking film, The Jazz Singer in 1927. Although she only had a small part, her participation in this groundbreaking project further highlighted her significance in the film industry. In conclusion, Mae McAvoy's career was marked by several breakthrough moments, including her performances in The Love Light and The Ten Commandments, as well as her role in The Jazz Singer. These achievements not only showcased her talent and versatility, but also solidified her place in film history. Mae McAvoy was a prominent actress during the silent film era. She began her career in 1917 and quickly gained recognition for her work. In 1920, she starred in the film The Restless Sex, which was a major success. McAvoy's breakthrough role came in 1922 when she played the lead in The Eternal City. Her performance was highly praised and it established her as a leading lady in Hollywood. She went on to star in several successful films throughout the 1920s, including The Merry Widow and The Gaucho. In 1928, McAvoy starred in the film The Jazz Singer, which was the first feature-length movie with synchronized dialogue. Her performance in the film was highly acclaimed, and it marked a significant milestone in the history of cinema. Throughout her career, McAvoy received several awards and nominations for her work. In 1926, she was named one of the top 10 box office draws in the country. She was also awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960, in recognition of her contributions to the film industry. Mae McAvoy's career was marked by notable films, memorable roles, and significant achievements. She was a talented actress who left an indelible mark on the world of silent films. Mae McAvoy, a talented actress, had a unique approach to her work. She was known for her naturalistic acting style, which was a departure from the over-the-top acting common in the early 20th century. McAvoy believed in getting into the character's mindset and portraying their emotions as truthfully as possible. Her process began with understanding the script and the character's motivations. She would spend hours analyzing the script, noting every detail about her character's background, relationships, and emotions. Once she had a clear understanding of her character, she would rehearse extensively, experimenting with different ways to portray the character's emotions. McAvoy's unique approach was also reflected in her use of personal experiences in her performances. She believed that her own experiences could add depth and authenticity to her characters. For instance, she drew from her experiences as a mother to portray maternal figures on screen. Moreover, McAvoy was not afraid to challenge societal norms and expectations through her work. She often chose roles that defied gender stereotypes, portraying strong, independent women who were not defined by their relationships with men. This was reflected in her role in the 1928 film The Wind, where she played a woman who refuses to be a victim of her circumstances. McAvoy's artistic vision and process were deeply influenced by her worldview. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and believed in the power of art to affect social change. Her work was a reflection of her beliefs, challenging societal norms and promoting gender equality. In conclusion, Mae McAvoy's artistic vision and process were unique and influential. Her naturalistic acting style, use of personal experiences, and commitment to challenging societal norms set her apart from her contemporaries. Her work remains a testament to her talent and vision, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. Mae McAvoy began her film career with a promotional commercial for Domino Sugar before landing a leading role in the 1925 classic, Ben Her A Tale of the Christ. Despite her success, McAvoy's career ended as an extra in the 1959 remake of Ben Hur, where she appeared as a woman in the crowd. Her final film role marked the end of a distinguished career that spanned several decades. 
Mae McAvoy was a significant actress during the silent film era, known for her work in movies like The Merry Widow and Ben-Hur. Her contributions to the industry were numerous, including her ability to convey emotions through facial expressions, which was crucial in silent films. Industry expert Kevin Brownlow, a film historian and preservationist, noted that McAvoy was one of the most popular stars of the 1920s. He added that she had a wonderful screen presence and was able to suggest depths of emotion with the slightest movement of her eyes. McAvoy's influence can be seen in the techniques used by actresses who followed in her footsteps. Her ability to captivate audiences with subtle expressions and movements paved the way for future actresses to do the same. Actresses like Gloria Swanson and Mary Pickford have cited Mae McAvoy as an inspiration. Swanson once said, Mae McAvoy was one of the most talented actresses of her time. She had a unique ability to convey emotion without words, which was no easy feat in silent films. In addition to her impact on acting techniques, McAvoy also influenced storytelling in film. Her roles often challenged traditional gender norms and showcased strong, independent female characters. This helped pave the way for more complex and dynamic female roles in future films. Overall, Mae McAvoy's contributions to the film industry were significant and far-reaching. Her influence can still be seen today in the acting techniques and storytelling styles of modern film. Mae McAvoy took control of her career when she bought herself out of her Paramount contract for $10,000. She did this because the roles she desired, such as Babby in The Little Minister and the lead in Peter Pan, were given to other actresses. McAvoy also claimed that Cecil B. DeMille prevented her from getting more parts at Paramount after she declined the lead role in Adam's Rib. She refused this role as it required her to cut her hair and wear a skimpy costume. Throughout her career, Mae McAvoy maintained a slim figure and never weighed more than 100 pounds. Her discipline in maintaining her appearance was notable given the demanding nature of her career in silent films. Despite the challenges she faced, McAvoy remained committed to her craft and continued to seek out roles that showcased her talent. Mae McAvoy, a well-known actress during the silent film era, led a life that was not just limited to her professional sphere. She had a deep passion for literature, which often influenced her choice of film roles. Mae was particularly fond of classic novels and enjoyed reading plays by renowned playwrights. Apart from her love for literature, Mae was also a dedicated philanthropist. She was actively involved in various charitable causes with a special focus on helping the underprivileged. Mae believed that everyone deserved a fair chance in life and she worked tirelessly to make this a reality. One of the causes close to Mae's heart was the American Red Cross. She was a regular volunteer and often donated her time and resources to help those in need. May also supported several other organizations, including the Los Angeles Orphans Home Society and the Motion Picture Relief Fund. May's personal values and interests often found their way into her work. She once said, I believe in using my influence as an actress to make a positive impact on society. May's dedication to her craft and her commitment to making a difference set her apart from her peers. In addition to her philanthropic efforts, May was also an advocate for women's rights. She believed in equal opportunities for women in all areas of life, including the film industry. May's strong values and convictions were reflected in her work, as she often chose roles that challenged societal norms and stereotypes. In conclusion, May McAvoy was not just an accomplished actress, but also a dedicated philanthropist and advocate for social change. Her personal values and interests played a significant role in shaping her career and her contributions to society. May's legacy continues to inspire and influence generations of actors and philanthropists alike. May McAvoy, a prominent figure in the early years of Hollywood, experienced a tragic setback when a fire on the set of the 1926 film The Winning of Barbara Worth left her with severe burns. The accident marked a turning point in her career as she was forced to turn down roles due to her injuries and eventually retired from acting in 1933. This unfortunate event serves as a stark reminder of the risks and challenges that even the most successful actors can face in their careers. Mae McAvoy was a significant figure in the early years of Hollywood. She became well known for her role in the classic film The Jazz Singer and was respected for her acting talent and professionalism. 
Her legacy lies in her contributions to the development of the film industry and her ability to captivate audiences with her performances. For those aspiring to follow in Mae McAvoy's footsteps, her advice would be to stay dedicated to your craft and continuously work to improve your skills. She would encourage aspiring professionals to remain professional and respectful even in the face of challenges or setbacks. In terms of future contributions, the film industry will continue to evolve and change, but the need for talented and dedicated professionals will always remain. May McAvoy would likely encourage aspiring professionals to embrace new technologies and techniques while also staying true to the core principles of storytelling and acting. In short, May McAvoy's legacy is one of dedication, talent, and professionalism, and her advice to aspiring professionals is to stay committed to your craft, continuously improve your skills, and remain professional and respectful in all that you do. The future of the film industry is bright, and there is always room for talented and dedicated individuals to make their mark. If you're a fan of classic films, you might be familiar with the talented actress Mae McAvoy. She made a significant impact in the world of entertainment and left a legacy that continues to inspire. We'd love to hear your thoughts on her work and what it meant to you. Mae McAvoy was known for her captivating performances in films such as The Jazz Singer and Ben-Hur. Her talent and dedication to her craft helped shape the industry and paved the way for future generations of actors. We encourage you to share your favorite memories of Mae McAvoy and the film she starred in. Your insights and perspectives are valuable to us and we're excited to hear what you have to say. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Together, let's keep the legacy of Mae McAvoy and other legendary actors alive for generations to come.